Murphy, uh, and thank you for uh, put that down so that you can hear me. Thanks for letting me come and speak to you today. What I have for you is um, a folder, and there's a lot of information in here. Today you'll be able to say Brunello di Montalcino, Bernacci di San Giuliano, Vienna di Montalcino, Burketto da Qui, right? Now, if you want to go to Italy, that's better. Okay, good. If you have the opportunity, I encourage you to do so. It's, in my opinion, it's one of the greatest places in the world to visit. I'm only 25% Italian by blood, but I'm 100% in my heart. Why? Because I like to eat and I like to drink. Italy is this wonderful country that's made up of 20 regions, just like the United States is made up of 50 states. Now, I know I just explained to you that it is a country that's made up of 20 regions, but for me, it's a peninsula that's made up of 20 different countries. Why? Because every region that you go to is different, it's unique. All the foods that you eat, more hardier foods up here where they use lots of butter and creams, versus you go down to Central and South where they use more olive oil and fish and vegetables. It really is truly spectacular. We're going to speak about some of the regions. We're going to talk about Piedmont, Lombardia, or Lombardy, Veneto, Emilia Romagna, Tuscany, Lazio, Abruzzo, and also Sicily. Wine is very, very important to our industry. Not only is it important because you're going to have a wine list at your restaurant or your hotel or your bar, but it's also very profitable for us. You can name an Italian wine four different ways. You can name it after a grape variety, an area, or zone of production, a grape variety and an area, or zone of production, or a fantasy or a proprietary. It says that if it has a grape variety on here, it means that 85% of that wine is going to be made with that grape variety. You can name wine after an area or a zone of production. For example, Barolo. Barolo is the name of the wine. It's also the name of Little Village. You can name wine after a grape variety and an area or zone of production. So, and this is real simple. Anytime you see the initials D apostrophe, D I, D E L L E, D E L L A, or D E L L apostrophe, it always means of or from. And it's not only wine products. So we have we have four of them up here. Brunello di Montalcino. Brunello is the local name for the Sangiovese grape variety from the town of Montalcino. But it also can be for food products and liquor products as well. So it's not just wine that will have this, the DI, the DE apostrophe, the DLE. Food products. Have you heard of prosciutto di Parma? Prosciutto, of course, is the rear two legs of the pig from the town of Parma. And then it can also be for liquor or wine, like Amaretto di Sorono. Have you had, have any of you had an Amaretto before? Maybe an Amaretto sour, yes. An almond-like liqueur. So Amaretto is the liqueur from the town of Sorrento. And then, of course, you can name it after a fantasy or a proprietary name. So at Banfi, which is the winery that we own in the town of Montalcino, we have some fantasy or proprietary names like Excelsis, Sumus, Cum Laude. You all know what Cum Laude is, right? Because you're all going to graduate Cum Laude, right? The Italian wine laws. The one thing you have to remember is, again, Every country will have its own wine laws. Even here in the United States, we have our own wine laws. And actually, in every state, there are different wine laws. But the one thing you must remember, no wine law can ever guarantee quality. It's literally impossible.